out of the house. It is a little afternoon, and we are headed to our church building because they're doing like a big cleanup this weekend. And I guess they had a pretty good turnout of people showing up. I really didn't think that was going to be the case, but I guess there's a lot of people there. So um, a couple of the boys' friends are there, so I thought, well, maybe we'll swing by. So we brought Carter's wheelbarrow and. We're gonna let them pick up some branches and such. So that's where we're headed now. We were gonna go to a pet store, but I gave them the option and they wanted to go, you know, play in the dirt, of course. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna go do. So that's our plan so far. You guys excited? Yeah! Yeah. It's been kind of, it's been an okay morning, but there's been some listening issues. But my socks have, my one sock has a hole in it. I hope not, because they're brand And my socks have a lot of holes. Okay. No, your sock just has not. a cuckoo hole. Oh my goodness, okay. And We're done here. Bye. We need to get you in the bucket. Not me. <laughs> oh, way high. Go higher. Yeah. Okay, you ready to? <laughs> what are they talking about? Surprise, they're oh, up wow. there. <laughs> Whoa, oh, now he wants to. <laughs> Megan's here with her gimp finger. I caught it from my sister. She smashed it with a hammer. And she has baby with her. He's just loving on her. He's just looking at me with his big eyes. Well, there he is. <laughs> hey. Hey, Heather. Can I love some stink shoe? <laughs> my poor hubby is so tired. Look how some more juice. Oh, wait, wait. I can't really see you. <gasps> you want more toothpaste? Yeah, I do. Awesome. Um, Hello, good sir. Can Hello. you give us the short version of what happened last night? <laughs> I rented a giant lift to cut a whole bunch of trees, and I couldn't get there until seriously like five minutes before it closed because of a whole bunch of stuff. So I got there, wasn't able to take it right then because I had something else hooked up, uh, another trailer. Yeah. Told the guy, you know, that I was going to go drop that off, come back, get the lift that I had rented. And everything was, he didn't care, it was no big deal. He unlocked it for me, gave me the key, showed me how to do everything. So I came back and by that point it was 11ish when I got back. And I was seriously just, ow! Cooper. I was seriously just about to hook up the very last thing on the trailer. And the squirrely store manager comes, assistant store manager comes around and is like, What are you doing? You can't take this. I'm like, Yes, I can. I rented it. Here's my rental agreement. I've got the key. I'm taking it. Uh, this is highly unusual. I can't, I can't let you take this. You don't have an assistant to help you hook it up. 
I don't know what to tell you. The guy knew this was happening that I rented it from, and no big deal. This is just so unusual. Like, you know what? It is unusual. I don't rent equipment like this. It's unusual for me too, but this is when I can come get it, so I'm getting it. Okay, well, I just have to make a phone call real quick. I'll be right back. We'll get this all sorted out. All right. So I finish hooking it up, sit in the van, and like five minutes later, I just see him pacing back and forth on the phone. I'm assuming he's talking to a store manager or something. Police show up. First one car in front of me, then another car off to the side, and then more pull up behind that one. Ask me to get out of the car. Shining lights at you. Oh yeah, shining the lights at me like, Sir, I need you to get out of the vehicle. Alright, I'm getting out. <laughs> like I'm some criminal, like I robbed a bank or something and was hiding back there. Ask if I had any weapons. No, I don't have a weapon, but I have a pocket knife. Okay, put your hands behind your back. Just need to go and get your knife. Frisk me and take my pocket knife out of my pocket and blah, blah, blah. Have me sit down over there, away from everything. While they go and talk to the store manager, or assist the store manager. I don't know what he did. I guess he called the guy that rented it to me and confirmed what I told him was true, as if I had forged the paperwork or something. And all in all, he came back and the police officer said, That oh, looks like you're good to go. It's just fusion. Like, alright. He's like, and I think they got some good news for you, too. I got one. So the assistant store manager walks in. I'm so sorry. Well, I just, I didn't know what to do, and obviously there won't be a charge for this, and keep it for as long as you need. So our $250 rental turned into free, and I will keep it for several days now. So I had a little talk with the police. Oh, boy. She kicked my... Oh, we got an issue. We'll be back. And we're back. <laughs> so anyway, so a hassle with the police for 20 or 30 minutes. For no good reason. Like six police officers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I have police officers. And too. they thought the whole thing was just totally ridiculous and they thought I should keep it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bizarro. So Jeremy had a really interesting night last night. And while this was happening, like, I knew he was gone. <laughs> I ha was like, man, I think I've kind of lost track of time. It was like 1130. Like, it was pretty late. I'm like, he should be home by now. So I boxered him, I saw that it was delivered, but I can tell when he reads it, it wasn't read. I'm like, that's weird. Maybe, maybe he didn't get it or something. So then I text him. I see it was sent, you know, but delivered, but again, he didn't read it. I'm like, oh no, what if he got hurt? There's nobody in this parking lot where he's going to be uh -huh. at. Like, what is going on? And then he sends me a picture. And I can't tell what's going on, but it looks like there's two police cars. I'm like, oh no, he got in a car accident. There's something wrong. No. But then that's exactly <laughs> what happened. And the police officers wouldn't let him use his phone. So it all turned out okay, but Jeremy was a little, <laughs> a little what last night? A little <laughs> amazed more than amazed anything. Amazed and frustrated and annoyed, embarrassed, just it everything. It was embarrassing. Yeah, very embarrassing. So, Where however, that was. Come? This is the biggest tag on this shirt. Is this really necessary? <laughs> My goodness, it's like a, it's like paperwork in here. <laughs> Good grief. Is that your rental agreement, ma'am? It must be. Man, that's annoying. Bye. All right, guys, that's our evening. Um, we didn't film a lot today, but after we got home, the boys took showers and then Cooper went down for nap, Coulter went down for nap, my mom came over and watched Carter, and Coulter once he woke up, and then my sister and I went um, shopping, which we had a really good time, and then we came home and just tried to get through the evening since Jeremy was still gone. He didn't get home until like 8.30 or so, so, and I'm just exhausted. I don't know why, I've just been really, really tired lately, but um, yeah, that was pretty much it. We had a good day and now I'm going to get in the shower and I'm going to go to bed because I am so, so tired and I think Jeremy's going to do the same. Well, I think he's just going to go to bed here and take a shower. So anyways, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.